Uh, hello, students. Now let us move on to question number two. Last lecture we have completed question number one. So gradually and slowly we will proceed towards the levels of the chapter. Okay. So here we go. We have Sanjay, Rajesh, and Anand carried on a retail business in partnership. The partnership agreement says that partners are to be credited at the end of each year with salaries. Okay. Uh, ten thousand to Sanjay, and uh, just a minute. Ten thousand to Sanjay, five thousand each to Rajesh and Anand. Okay, so this is salary paid to partner. Yesterday I told you salary paid to partner, interest on capital, interest on drawings will be shown in P and L appropriations account. So appropriation account is specially prepared for. Making entries related to partners' expenses. Okay, so this salary will be P and L appropriation. Okay, debit, and it will be seen in partners' capital on the credit side. Okay, now just pay attention here. In this sum, you are also given current account. Capital account is there. Current account is also there. So that means it is based on fluctuating method. Okay, so in this question. We will be taking, yeah, this FX in which side? In I said capital account credit side, but since capital it's a fluctuating method, we are going to take it to partners current account credit side. Okay, so when current account is there, then instead of capital, you will show the entry in partners current account. Okay, so these are the two effects that you are going to show. Apart from that, they are saying that. There is an interest which is going to be charged nine percent per annum on the balance at the credit of their respective accounts at the commencement of the year. Okay, so it's not specific as to which balance it is, whether interest is charged on the capital or on the current account. Okay, so here in this case, if you read the question properly, it is interest at the rates of nine percent per annum on the balance at the credit of their respective accounts. So, which respective accounts these people have? These people have capital account as well as current account. Okay, so when you will charge interest, how are you going to charge it? I will show you. How much is Sanjay's capital? Eighty. How much is Sanjay's current account? Sixteen thousand. Okay, so eighty plus sixteen. I'm talking about Sanjay, huh, students? Sanjay, yeah. So eighteen plus sixteen makes it to ninety-six thousand. So ninety-six thousand ka you have to calculate nine percent. Okay, ninety-six thousand ka nine percent. So that makes it to eight six four zero. Okay, so this will be the amount. Similarly for Rajesh, okay. So Rajesh ka capital account is how much? Fifty. So fifty here, and his ka current account is how much? Twenty. So how much is this? Twenty. Ah, uh, sixty-two. Okay. So sixty-two thousand ka nine percent. I will calculate. Okay. So sixty-two thousand ka nine percent. So that makes it to five five eight zero five five eight zero. Next it is Anand. So Anand ka capital is how much? Thirty and his current account is eight thousand. So thirty plus eight thousand. So that makes it to thirty eight and thirty eight thousand ka I am going to calculate nine percent interest on capital. Okay. So thirty six. Uh, Sorry, it's not thirty six. It is thirty eight. Thirty eight thousand ka nine percent. So it is how much? Three four two zero. Three four two zero. Okay. So the this is an adjustment. So it will definitely have two effects. So this is the calculation that I have shown to you. Okay. Okay. So this is my first working note with respect to calculation of interest. Fine. So obviously it will also have two effects. Correct. It's my interest on capital, yeah. That will be seen in my P and L appropriations, obviously on the debit side, and okay, it will be seen in my partner's current account on the credit side. So these are the two effects. No interest to be charged on drawings, fine. 
after charging salaries and interest and capital profit and losses to be divided so they have said that your profits and losses are to be divided in which ratio the ratio is mentioned 50 is to 30 is to 20 that means can i say my ratio is 5 is to 3 is to 2 the zeros will get cancelled right okay i'll just show it 50 is to 30 is to 2 so the zeros get dropped out so my ratio will be 5 is to 3 is to okay so that's my psr now coming on to yeah the trial balance items okay sales will be obviously trading credit trade creditors balance sheet liability furniture and fittings balance sheet asset freehold premises purchased during the year balance sheet asset leasehold premises balance sheet asset additions and alterations to leasehold premises okay so addition to the existing asset so this will be added to the cost of the asset the 45 plus 25 okay yeah purchases trading credit sorry trading debit stock on 1st april so this has to be my opening stock trading debit salaries and wages okay so this will go to pnl debit office and trade expenses pnl debit rent rates and insurance pnl debit professional charges pnl debit data's balance sheet asset provision for doubtful debts it's on the credit side so this is my old rdd so the formula of bad debts may say a minus hoga bank balance okay balance at the bank okay so this is balance sheet asset and this is my drawings one effect my partner's capital may hona chahiye but since there is a current account here so i will be making a current account partner's current account on the debit side only one effect okay now let's see the corresponding journal entries okay so stock on 31st march 2022 this is my closing stock it will have two effects trading credit and balance sheet asset side okay moving on to the next one a data of 600 is written off and provision against the remaining data should be provided okay so let's put a tick mark on data because it is having an adjustment okay your data fine it is having an adjustment okay so ye jo 600 hai, this is my new budgets or you can call it as further budgets or ye jo 5 percent this is my new rdd okay so when we write the formula yeah so this two effect hoga. Ek to ye formula mein add hoga. The, the the regular formula that you have been using since 11 standard will be using the same so in the formula this will be added and corresponding second effect will be less from the data okay now provide outstanding expenses outstanding expenses means they are going to be added okay so it will be added to the corresponding uh, expense and second effect will be balance sheet liability now let's see outstanding me kya hai office and trade expense okay so in the trial balance i have office and trade expense yes yera okay so put a tick mark to it because it is having an adjustment then salaries and wages salaries and wages also i have it's here okay so put a tick mark since it is having an adjustment next rent okay rates prepaid so prepaid means two effects less soga from the concerned expense and second effect balance sheet asset and let's tick mark rent rates and taxes yeah here it is okay so we have put a tick mark since it is having an adjustment now depreciate furniture and fittings at the rate 10 percent so i'll give two effects Ek to hoga PNL debit side, it's depreciation, and second effect will be less from balance sheet asset that is furniture. So let's put a tick mark to furniture also. It is having an adjustment. Okay. Aage dekho. Very important thing bola hai. Professional charges include 2500 fees paid in respect of the acquisition of the leasehold premises whose fees are to be capitalized okay now what has happened is i'll tell you Haan, is case are, there is journal in, uh, uh, information number adjustment number six these two are combined the cost and additions and alterations of the leasehold premises are to be written off over 25 years commencing on 1st april in the year of which the premises was acquired okay so leasehold premises and the other one is yeah so I'll tell you what to do with this. Just a minute. Yeah. Here's my leasehold premise. Here. 
the important aspect i'll just this one ye bahut important hai ab dekho iska main kya aapko concept batati hu kya hua hai aapke paas ek leasehold premises hai 45000 ka and you have purchased addition to the leasehold premise okay so definitely it will be added to the cost of the asset okay because this is a capital expenditure so it says that 45000 and 25000 theek hai plus ye dekho kya kiya ye log ne ye galti se ye 2500 jo ki tha for acquisition of leasehold premise okay ye इधर एड होगा 2500. सो नाउ द कॉस्ट ऑफ द लीज होल्ड प्रोमाइस विल बी 45 फाइव प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस टू सो दैट मेक्स इट टू 72500. सो दिस इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ योर लीज होल्ड प्रोमाइसिस इज दैट क्लियर टू एवरीवन? ओके सो दिस इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ योर लीज होल्ड प्रोमाइसिस and after this you are going to charge depreciation for it okay why depreciation for it there is a reason for that also okay so because here what they have said that the leasehold premises has to be written off okay yeah so i'll show you 72500 divided by 25 years bola hai to ek saal ka kitna hua 2900 so this is your depreciation on leasehold premise okay so less depreciation 2900 okay and how did you get this 2900 ye jo aapko total cost mila hai leasehold premise ka usko divide by 25 years why 25 years because question mein bola hai that the cost and the additions of alterations to leasehold premises are written off for 25 years to ek saal ka kitna hua 2900 okay so the this is the hidden part in this particular adjustment i hope i am very clear to everyone i repeat 45000 plus 25000 additions to the asset plus 2500 ka fees okay yeah aur ye jo 2500 hai iska second effect kidhar aayega ye log ne kya kiya galti se professional fees ne usko add kar diya to wahan se wo minus ho jayega okay तो so, 2500 का इफेक्ट्स विल बी तो टिक मार्क प्रोफेशनल चार्जेस बिकॉज वो गलती से वहां ऐड हो गया तो यू विल सब्ट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम प्रोफेशनल चार्जेस प्रोफेशनल फीस एंड सेकंड इफेक्ट इज यू विल ऐड टू लीज होल्ड प्रोमाइसेस सो दीज आर द टू इफेक्ट्स आर यू आर शो ओके और एडजस्टमेंट नंबर सेवन का टू इफेक्ट क्या होगा इट इज राइट ऑफ मतलब डेप्रीसिएशन सो दिस विल बी पी एन एल डेबिट depreciation 2900 and second effect will be less from leasehold premises okay so i hope i'm very clear about this particular all the adjustments given in this question okay so now let's begin with the solution part of it okay and don't forget about this figures interest on capital wala concept so let's begin okay let's start with trading account we have opening stock 42000 purchases 2 lakh 80 sales 4 lakh 65 and closing stock 36 okay so 4 lakh 65000 plus 36000 Minus forty two thousand minus two lakh eighty. So my gross profit is one lakh seventy nine thousand. Okay. So this gross profit, where am I going to take it? Obviously to my P and L account as gross profit carried down. So here comes my PNL account. 
पी एन एल अकाउंट में आई हैव सैलरीज सिक्सटी फोर थाउजेंड प्लस इट इज हैविंग एडजस्टमेंट सो एडजस्टमेंट आई एम पुकिंग या आई एम जस्ट हाईलाइटिंग इट विद ग्रीन एड आउटस्टैंडिंग ऑफिस एक्सपेंसिस एड आउटस्टैंडिंग रेंट देन प्रीपेड प्रोफेशनल फीस देर इज अ ट्रांसफर इफेक्ट टू इट I just explained. Bad debts. Okay. Bad debts. Can I just show? Just make a note of this. Yeah. Bad debts. This bad debts is not there, but yeah, this further bad debts is there. New bad debts. Six hundred year. Okay. जहां भी एडजस्टमेंट है आई एम हाईलाइटिंग इट ओके जैसे ट्रेडिंग में एडजस्टमेंट में यही था क्लोजिंग स्टॉक था तो इन सबका क्या है टू टू इफेक्ट होते हैं राइट विच आई डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर बैड डेट्स दिस वॉज देयर इन द एडजस्टमेंट दिस वॉज ऑल्सो देयर इन द एडजस्टमेंट फर्नीचर डिप्रीसिएशन कितना बोला है टेन परसेंट फर्नीचर डिप्रीसिएशन इज टेन परसेंट बराबर तो ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ फर्नीचर लेस टेन परसेंट डिप्रीसिएशन तो टू थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड ओके सो दिस इज ऑल्सो हैविंग एन एडजस्टमेंट एंड लीज होल प्रॉपर्टी का आई जस्ट डिस्कस टू थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड कैसे आया ओके सो वन लैख सेवेंटी नाइन थाउजेंड दैट्स माई ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट माइनस माइनस फोर्टी सेवन सिक्स हंड्रेड माइनस एट थाउजेंड माइनस वन थाउजेंड माइनस लेवन हंड्रेड माइनस टू थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड माइनस टू थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड ओके सो माई पी एन एल अप्रोप्रिएशन इज आई मीन द प्रॉफिट विच विल बी ट्रांसफर टू पी एन एल अप्रोप्रिएशन इज फोर्टी सिक्स टू हंड्रेड ओके I've highlighted all the adjustments with green. Okay. Leasehold property. Just I explained you. How do you get two thousand nine hundred? Okay. Then comes P and L appropriations. Salary. Yes, there it was there in the adjustment. Yeah. And interest on capital. I just showed you the calculations. How to? Yeah. In the beginning, the working note that I did, yeah, that calculations will come here. So forty six two hundred minus twenty thousand minus seventeen six forty. So eight five six zero is the net profit which I will distribute among partners. obviously in their current account correct yeah and ratio kya diya tha uh, abhi humne calculate kiya tha na 5 is to 3 is to 2 5 is to 3 is to 2 is the ratio okay so just distribute in that
into five divided by ten. Four two eight zero, then eight five six zero into three divided by ten. Two five six eight and eight five six zero into two divided by ten. One seven one. Okay, so this is the profit of my PNL appropriation, which will go to my current account. Why? Because the current account is given. So now everything will be transferred in current account rather than capital. अगर current account नहीं होता, तो मैं सब कुछ capital में लेती. Okay. Next, this is my current account. Opening balances are given: sixteen thousand, twelve thousand, eight thousand. ड्रॉइंग्स का वन इफेक्ट ओके और ये रहा मेरा एडजस्टमेंट जिसके सेकेंड इफेक्ट इधर है ओके सैलरीज का सेकेंड इफेक्ट इंटरेस्ट ऑन कैपिटल का सेकेंड इफेक्ट और ये जो प्रॉफिट हमने अभी कैलकुलेट किया पी एन एल अप्रोप्रिएशन का उसका सेकेंड इफेक्ट ओके वेन यू क्लोज दिस लेजर यू विल गेट दिस एज अ बैलेंसिंग फिगर विच विल गो टू माई Balance sheet liability. Okay, so eight thousand plus five thousand plus three four two zero plus one seven one two. Okay, minus nine thousand. So nine one three two. Twelve thousand plus five thousand plus five five eight zero plus two five six eight. Minus eleven thousand. Fourteen one four eight. Next, sixteen thousand plus ten thousand plus eight six four zero plus four two eight zero minus seventeen thousand. Twenty one nine twenty. Okay. Then my ultimate balance sheet, yeah. Debtors was having an adjustment, right? New bad debts and new RDD. Okay, five percent, right? New RDD was how much? Five percent. So twenty thousand six hundred का debtors. उसमें से new bad debts minus करो six hundred. So my answer is twenty thousand. अभी इसका five percent निकालो. So it is thousand rupees. Understood? So twenty thousand minus thousand is nineteen thousand net data. Okay. Then ये वो prepaid rent second effect इधर. Then this depreciation का second effect is here. Leasehold का depreciation second effect is here. Okay. Outstanding expenses का second effect is here. Okay, so I'm highlighting all the second effects. Even this stock, this is my closing stock. Second effect is your capital is already given in the balance in in the trial balance eighty, fifty, and thirty, and current account ka balances we just got from your partner's current account. Okay, this side. I hope this sum is clear to everyone, right? Forty three seven hundred plus nineteen thousand plus thirty six thousand plus two thousand five hundred plus nineteen eight hundred plus sixty nine six hundred plus sixty thousand. So two lakh fifty six hundred. Then the liability side. One lakh sixty plus forty five two hundred plus thirty seven thousand plus two thousand four hundred plus six thousand. Okay, obviously the balance sheet has to tally. Right. So this completes our second sum also under partnership final accounts. Okay. So the highlight of the sum was that interest calculation which we did. On the opening balances of capital plus current account, then the 
लीज होल्ड प्रॉपर्टी का जो एडजस्टमेंट है जिसमें एडिशन टू लीज होल्ड प्रॉपर्टी है और डेप्रिसिएशन भी है ओके एंड दिस वॉट डिड आई डू आई आई डायरेक्टली टुक यस यू कैन इवन शो इट लाइक दिस एडिशन में यू कैन शो एडिशन कितना था ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड right and you can even show your ad that uh, premise lease hold property ka ek cost tha na humne consider kiya tha abhi maine just explain kiya tha 2500 wala yeah lease hold property ka fees professional fees paid for lease hold property theek hai to wo professional fees mein nahi jayega wo idhar aayega okay yeah एंड लीज होल्ड प्रॉपर्टी प्रोफेशनल फीस कितना टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड आप डायरेक्टली ट्वेंटी सेवन फाइव हंड्रेड भी ले सकते हो बराबर ना पच्चीस हजार प्लस टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड इज हाउ मच ट्वेंटी सेवन फाइव हंड्रेड तो अर्लियर आई एड रिटर्न दैट वे यू कैन शो द बाइफरकेशन ऑल्सो इट विल गिव यू द सेम आंसर फोर्टी फाइव प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव Okay, sixty nine six hundred. So it's one and the same thing. Okay, there is no much difference. Fine. So next lecture, we I will take up a uh, new sum. Okay. So till then, happy learning. Have a nice day.